Welcome back to TK Tennis. So today we're going to do a review of MSV CoFocus. If you watched my last review, which was MSV Swift, you're going to find out pretty quickly that these two strings, MSV CoFocus and MSV Swift, were very, very different. And a quick housekeeping item, I have a lot of string reviews coming up. I'm going to do, I'm going to play with Flash Yellow. Uh, Kirschbaum Flash again, which broke really fast for me when I was playing in Germany. So I just want to validate that that durability was as poor as it seemed to because I loved those strings, but poor durability was very poor. Hyper G Soft is coming up soon. Big Hitter S7 uh, Silver coming up soon. And then we have a few Diadem strings. Diadem sent me some strings to test. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid. Um, but if someone wants to send me free strings to test... If I'm interested in them, I will do it. And that's Diadem Pro X, which a lot of college players play with. Diadem Flash. So I'm using those two right now, Pro X and Flash. And then there's Diadem Solstice. All right, so let's get into the attributes and the characteristics of CoFocus. So moving into the control attribute. Uh, control was very good. Um, this string is a little bit softer on the softer side of most polys, or not most polys, but on the softer side of polys, medium soft to a little bit softer. Typically, that means the control is not quite as good as if you have a really stiff, firm poly. Those typically get an excellent, but CoFocus gets a very good um, on the control category just because it's sort of that little bit of softness to that to the string. On the spin potential category, uh, it's a round poly. It's not very sharp. It's a slick coating on it. So it gets a very good on the spin potential, not a great. So it's not like a Hyper G or a very spin oriented string where you expect to get more spin for free. It gets you the spin that you'd expect from a very good round poly. Nothing more, nothing less. So my, some people might say that's average, but polys generally get you very good spin. If it's a good quality poly, even if it's round, it gets you very good spin potential. On the snapback category, sort of on the lower end of very good. And some people may look at this, well, that's not great. Well, I don't think it's bad at all. So this is a not a hyper slick coating on the strings, but it's also not a dry coating on the strings. And typically, if it's a hyper slick coating like the Toraline strings and strings from Restring, those typically have very hyper slick coatings and they always snap back and they snap back very aggressively and if you watch my video reviews i've been you know it sounds like you'd want very or excellent snapback but i haven't found that to be an extreme advantage or really any advantage at all if you have very good snapback or solid snapback as long as they snap back 95 percent of the way they could be off just a millimeter or so that tends not that tends not to have really any effect on your shots so when I see a snapback, as long as it's very good, I'm happy with that. I think this gets on the lower end of very good just because when it's a little bit more used after four or five hours, the strings move around a little bit more, a millimeter or two out of place. So I can't give it a pure very good in that category. On the power category, most polys get a normal from me. The vast majority of polys are just, you don't get anything for free and they're not flat. They don't have extra punch, but a few polys, let's say Restring Zero and Kirschbaum Super Smash, which I talk about a lot, and Restring Zero, that actually gets towards a high category, closer to high. This string gives you a little bit extra for free. Not a lot, and like I always say, if you're gonna get a little extra power for free, it's what, one or 2% at the most. So it does have that, a decent pop, and it gives you a little extra power for free. And that's why it gets a little bit higher on the normal category. Durability was high. These strings broke at the seven and a half hour mark. So that was what I expect from poly in my game. I usually break polys in between six and a half and eight hours. And that was the case here. So I always give it a durability high rating if it lasts close to eight hours. Tension maintenance. Tension maintenance seemed to be on the higher end of normal. Um, the strings did not get really mushy at the five or six hour mark like some softer polys do. It got a little bit flat, so it lost a little bit of its pop, but it didn't get mushy. So I thought tension maintenance really held its own quite well. Not exceptionally high, just on the higher end of normal. And the most important category of all is feel. So how would I describe the feel of these strings? It's quite interesting. 
So I would describe them first and foremost as towards the softer side, so medium soft, but sort of plush. I got a plush, thumpy feeling. The weather's turned a little bit colder for us, so we're in the 60s and 70 degrees, and the strings start to get a little pingy sometimes. This string really held its own and stayed with this plush, soft feeling, and it also was semi-lively, and that's why it's marked halfway in bold yellow on the lively category. So it was plush and a bit lively. That's why it gets a little bit extra in the power category, and that's the best way to describe this string. So the overall grade for recreational players, I give it an A minus. I think this is a great polyester string for three, five players or intermediate level players or recreational players who like polys um, in between three, five and four, five, you'll find this to be an A minus string. Some people may find this to be an A string. It really plays well. For me personally, I wanted to hear a little bit better acoustics when I hit the ball, a little bit more pop. For a higher caliber player, sort of that 5.5 five level, 5.0 five to 5.5 five five and higher, I think that's a little bit too soft and too plush. They're going to want something a little bit more firm and stiff. Or if you're a really big hitter and you have really aggressive swings, you probably want something a little bit stiffer as well. So for higher caliber players, I give it a B. If you paid attention to my Swift review for recreational players, it got a C. This is a very different string than MSV Swift. I thought the string was close to excellent where I didn't really particularly enjoy MSV Swift whatsoever. So who is it for? It's for any recreational player who enjoys a medium soft poly. They should find this to be a comfortable, performant, and arm friendly string. Many players from intermediate to semi advanced players may find this to be an A string. I think the only downside is it began to play a little bit flat towards the end of its life cycle towards the end of its life cycle and it's only available in white and black and acoustically wise I wanted to hear a little bit more thump when I hit the ball and it didn't quite get that I get that more thump of like grapple snake tour m8 and with Kirschbaum super smash and with um, even alu power when it's when it's new um, I get a little bit more thump and that's why I gave it an A minus even for me So would I use it again? Yes, I thought this was a really nice string I really want to try this string indoors as well to see how close would I rate it better than sort of my go-to string which is Super Smash uh, No, it's very close. It's very much on par almost um, But not enough for me to move the needle for me to move away from like Kirschbaum flash or Kirschbaum Super Smash um, not enough to move the needle there for me, uh, but really, really close. And I would certainly play with the string again because it, it felt great. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments or su suggestions to use another string, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you in the next ace.